Hello and welcome to Castaway Gamer TV. Today we're going to be talking about ICBM, which is Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. Uh, now this is tier 3 and 4, which are uh, bigger and badder missiles and more explosives that pack a bigger punch. Uh, so hopefully strap in and get ready for a roller coaster ride of boom. So this is the destroyed landscape we left off uh, with the sonic explosive. This is a, a, yeah, a missile launcher. Uh, it's a laser designator, essentially. Um, and the explosive down there is an EMP explosive. And what it's supposed to do, if used properly, it will basically get rid of any electronic, uh, like any uh, electricity in the area, and knock flying missiles out of the sky. Now, those are both EMP missiles, and if executed correctly again, they should one should knock the other out of the sky, but that didn't happen at all. Uh, it kind of failed, so the testing of the EMP, it's not really practical, because I, I tried hundreds of times and I couldn't get it to just the right situation. Um, but in theory, it's supposed to basically uh, act like an EMP burst. That is a nuke. Uh, it's in, in the real world, it's one of the most deadly weapons uh, ever created. But in this uh, universe, it's, it's one of the deadlier weapons. What makes it so uh, annoying is that it not only does it make a huge crater in the earth, it also uh, gives uh, radiation blocks or uh, contamination. Because you see those green things? Those give yes. you cancer if you get oh. too close. It's like poison, um, except it, it just it's, it's all purveying and nothing can get rid of it. And what makes it like a real kick in the nuts is that it spreads. So, as long as you destroy every single one of those green blocks, it'll spread. Which, I have to start a whole new world so it wouldn't contaminate my old one. So, use wisely. Now that is a nuke in missile form. Uh, it's, again, it's, it's, this, it's unlike the other uh, missiles, it doesn't actually increase the, the physical explosion. Uh, the, the range of the explosion it does allow you to deliver it from afar, which is quite useful because while the nuke does have a larger uh, time before it explodes, uh, countdown, it, the the devastation and the explosion and the crater it leaves is so huge that you would uh, it's unlikely that you'd get out of uh, the danger zone quick enough. Let me just point out that what you were about to see was a, was a lake, was a river, and now all of it is a hole. So yeah, again, use wisely, because the devastation it leaves is, is permanent, and it spreads. So you can blow something up, but the, the radiation blocks, the, the fallout, or whatever you call it, uh, it, it, it'll spread, and it'll give you uh, poison. Can you say Hiroshima? Ah, uh, too soon. Must have been like 60 years. Ah, uh, something like that. They still have a crater, I think. <laughs> Great tourist spot. Anyways, pressing things aside, uh, that was this is from the first explosion. That's how far it spread. Uh, so it, it, you can actually see blocks being created if you watch long enough. It's, it's quite quick. Uh, that's a remote detonator. Again, you'll see that in the later video. This is a conflagration explosion. And basically, what it does, it uh, it harnesses the power of the sun. Uh, so. Quite, quite deadly. Now it only works at uh, at noon. It only works at noon when the sun is highest in the sky. Any other time, you'll have just wasted the explosion. Instead of having a big mm, sound, it'll just mm, and die. Uh, so it's not very useful. It actually is so powerful that it turns uh, daytime to nighttime, and it has a 33% chance of spawning fire and a 33% chance of spawning uh, lava. Uh, so, uh, so it's not a lot of lava actually out there, but, uh, it has a chance of spawning lava. Um, it also comes in missile form like everything else, and it actually does increase the, the area of effect, uh, opposed to the nuke. Um, but the missile also has to have, uh, be detonated at high noon. You can't, you can't detonate at any other time, otherwise you'll have just wasted your explosive. So, it's great for, for, uh, you know, clearing a forest if you... You just don't like the view from your house. You know, trees in the way all the time. Just burn it all down. Why not? You know, fire's the best option always. 
So, and what it's supposed to be doing is harnessing the power by basically chucking a block of chucking blocks, and then it spreads that the fire, the power is harnessed uh, into the area around it. Look at the little thingies. <laughs> yeah, burn, yeah, thingies burn. The tree's dead. The one tree. Wow, that is literally the only tree in the entire landscape. <laughs> and they got living fire. But the so it's useful because it's it's a, just a huge area of effect and it doesn't leave a physical uh, crater. So let's say your enemies had a camp there, you could you could basically nuke. Ah, oh, there's the lava. But uh, you can you could basically hit them with this, burn down anything they had, and then rebuild anything you want there. So it's not as as permanent or as devastating, but it is as, as effective as a nuke. Now this is an antimatter explosive, and antimatter is one of the two most devastating weapons in this game. Uh, there's antimatter and there's red matter. And antimatter, um, I don't know what the, sci the legitimate scientific theory is uh, in detail, but essentially it, it, it is the counterpart to matter. So when it comes in contact with matter, it destroys it. It causes, a, you know, the doppelganger effect. If you see your doppelganger, uh, you both, like, there's a, there's a rift in the space-time continuum, blah, 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 blah. Um, but essentially what it does in the game is it causes a huge giant sinkhole that goes through bedrock. So it's not it's not like a nuke, it doesn't leave a crater which you can go into. If you fall in, you'll keep going until you uh, fall through the world. So it's quite devastating. Very hard to fix if it hits. And as you can see, uh, nothing stops it. Nothing can stand in the world. Wonderful if you're only delivering it, not if you're receiving it. Yes. <laughs> well, at least it would be a quick death, except for the whole lag part. But you know, it's, it's a wonderful way to go. I would wonder what happened if you're in the area of effect. I would wonder if you're like a person, would you just keep falling through? Would it kill you? Because I wasn't, I don't know, I know that it destroys blocks, but I don't know what happens to the people there. Because there weren't any pigs or cows or anything. No. Oh. That's something for you, the wonderful viewer, to test. So you see that blue part? That's just the end of the world. So you fall through that and it's gone. See? You can actually see through the world. You can see the bedrock layer. You can see everything. It, <laughs> nothing stopped it. So it, it, it has the widest area of uh, devastation. There is no recipe for this and there's no bomb form. There's no nothing you can you know, light on fire to make it explode. It has to be a missile. So it's still a kind of work in progress, but it's the, the current model is, is devastating. So that's red matter, and I also queued up an antimatter missile. So what red matter does, again, I don't know the exact scientific theory, but essentially it's it's part of a of a, a, a condensed star. And you, if you have you watched Star Trek, the newest one? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but basically Spock uses red what well, uses red matter to try to get rid of a black hole, but he gets he gets stolen from. And basically they use it to destroy a planet. Now this is not as devastating. Uh, as the planet destroyer version, but it is uh, quite deadly. Basically, when it ignites, it'll uh, create a mini black hole in wherever it lands and suck in any blocks near it and then throw it out. And it'll keep doing that, getting a wider and wider range of, uh, of effect until it reaches its maximum 30 block uh, diameter. Um, and once it reaches that, then uh, then it'll just stay there forever. Nothing can can stop it. You can't. Uh, if a nuke landed there, it wouldn't matter. It it'd keep it'd keep going. Uh, it'd keep picking up and throwing blocks. Any I, any uh person or or creature, mob, zombie, pig, anything that gets in it will be uh, picked up and thrown without prejudice. It's not like it targets special things. And it'll stay there forever. So you know how I was saying how the the nuke was annoying because it gives a uh, fallout. This is even more annoying because you're gonna have this in your world forever. Now, there is actually one thing that can stop it. There's, there's only one thing, and that is the antimatter explosive. So, uh, you know the giant hole that was created that go, went through bedrock? That is literally the only thing that can that can get rid of this. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a plague, but this nuisance. Because frankly, it doesn't look that, that as devastating as, uh, as the antimatter did, but it, it, it's it's persistent. So 
I, uh, I actually call down uh, the antimatter explosive right in the center. That is exactly where the red matter bomb went off. But because of the, the area effect and the ability of the red matter explosive, the missile doesn't actually hit its target. It gets sucked in and thrown out. So I'm lucky that, that uh, it even did what it was supposed to do. Because you can see how it veers off. Wow. That was cool. So it's finally stopped. Just now you got the whole sink cool. But you know, that can be fixed later. Yeah. Well, instead of a permanent black hole, we now have a giant crater. So I mean, the lesser of two evils? or, or It's your yeah. choice to decide if you're going to leave the red matter there or, or blow it up even more. Yeah. But yeah, that was the, the tier 3 and 4 for the ICBM mod. Uh, check out the the next video, which is machines and electronics, which add a lot of nifty uh, materials that, that aren't actually explosives, but they are quite cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.